This is a four-way submersible unit. As you can see, it's stainless steel again, 304 type. It has two three-phase switches, and it has two ways of single-phase vacuum fault interrupters. They can be tripped either three-phase or single-phase, and they can be reset either single-phase or three-phase. Two switch ways, the handles are here. Open the switch, simply pull it open, and you lock in the open position, you close it, and you push the handle closed. The VFI ways, you'll see there's three handles. We have a device that grabs all three handles to be able to open and close all of them together. Or if it's being operated as a single phase device, you would trip one phase on, on a single phase overcurrent and then you just could reset that particular phase. This unit is an SF6 filled unit. We have our gauge here. We have a cap to keep the gauge clean when it's underground. We have our fill valve here. We're using a dyno fill valve. industrial standard valve used in the industry today. This particular unit has the two switch ways or 600 amp. The two vacuum fault interrupter protected ways are 200 amp. We're using self-powered relays. These relays here, one is a three-phase, true three-phase relay. It has no single phase interruption. The other one is a three-phase single phase relay. So we have different options and relays depending upon the customer's application. You'll notice the relays, all our relays plug into a submersible connector and all of these type of relays we have a shorting network that you can change the relay while the interrupter is energized and carrying current and not get a false trip. What this allows, it allows the client or customer to take a relay offline, test it and put it back without interrupting the customer.